Today, we're going to talk about this cool 3D printed modular terrain. We have a Kickstarter going on right now, so please check out the link in our bio. Uh, the main components are uh, walls, which are right here, um, support poles, which are over here, and roofs and floors. Uh, they can be, uh, these are two length walls. Everything's built on a three by three grid um, for the system. Uh, there's one length walls, which you can see there. Um, and we also have three length walls. Um, and these are, these are pretty big. And these are all uh, 3D printed in PLA, uh, 200 microns on my, on my bamboo. Um, they all start out as just this uh, plastic right here. This is a one length wall. Um, and this is just a uh, matte rattle can spray paint and some dry brush of lead belcher. And you know, it's pretty good tabletop ready quality. Um, okay, now that I've shown you some of the bits, let me start uh, by making a building. I can show you these types of walls. There's solid walls, like full line of sight blocking windows, um, some with doorways, some of them are just like completely open, um, damaged ones, um, and also more, more damaged ones or just one side if you really want like a big hole open um, for, for line of sight on your terrain. And then these are the support poles. Now this is really the, uh, I don't know, the signature of, I guess, the, the war layer system. Um, so these have, it's pretty hard. Let me see if I can get this up here. Um, four slots right here. Um, some of them have three, some have two, if you want like a, like a corner and the walls slot into these. Um, so let me show you that. So these are the little slots right here on the side, you can see, and those just slide right into there. Pretty perfect. Um, and yeah, you can actually still see the 3D printed part on this side. And these just, you know, these can just stand up like this if you want to. Um, they're not the most stable, but that will totally work um, for a building. Um, the other thing that is different, and in my opinion better, um, is, is these little things right here, these cross hatches. It's actually where the roof or the floor catches. And you notice it's slightly below the, the top of the wall here. Um, the, the problem I was running into with other terrain systems is you know, if they had a floor, it actually made the whole building bigger. So if you had a some with floors and some that didn't, if you tried to connect them across like a bridge, it'd be a little taller off. Um, so this this avoids that. Um, I think it's a pretty cool, nifty little trick. It was actually a happy happy accident. Um, let's see, some of these are, yeah, they're a little more, they only have three, they're like a T-slot, pretty much like grown up Legos um, for Warhammer or any other tabletop games. And then even some, we have some uh, extra features like a foot to make it look like this building has like a super solid pillar. Um, okay, so let me just make a simple little four, uh, little two by two building here. So I'll put my support poles in. Um, I'll just keep slotting in the walls. Um, get another support pole here. Do another wall, I'll do the open wall this time. And we'll do one last support pole. And then we'll do another wall right here and we'll slide that in like so and there we go we have a we have a pretty cool building um, or the beginnings of a pretty cool building uh, so now that that's there there's the roof you can see um, it actually has these little uh, nicks cut out of it that's because it's built on that system so this is one and two so if it uh, goes across a two length, it totally sits free. But if you happen to have a support pillar in the middle, that's why there are these little little breaks here. Um, so I'm just gonna pop this in here, and there we go. It's pretty solid. Um, yeah, I can tilt it. I can even look inside. Oh, that's just, oh, I, I didn't paint my under, under bridges. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a, like a little garage or something like that. Um, oopsies. The other thing we can do is, uh, since this is a grid, we can kill, keep building out. So we can connect more parts to this right here and start to go outward to make some uh, bigger buildings. So I'm gonna actually take those uh, three length ones that you saw earlier. Um, all of this is from the new Forbidden uh, War, War Larry Kickstarter, which is live now. I think there's almost a week left to pledge and get all these bits. Um, here you go. That one, I like that sculpt quite a bit. Yeah, Antoine um, is the main sculptor in all these and he did an incredible, incredible job. Um, some phenomenal um, craftsmanship here. There's a floor, this one's a little damaged. You can see some of them aren't, aren't perfect. Uh, here we go. 
like that, another support pole. And here I'll use this uh, damaged one right here. Just put it in there. Voila. See, there we go. Now we have, it, it is a little hard to, since they slide this way, um, it's better to slide them across the table, but you can still, see it holds together pretty well if you put a little, little weight on it. Um, and now I'm gonna put the floor right here. And cool, there we go. Now we have a pretty, yeah, it holds much better together when you actually have the sides and the top. Um, you can see this, this cool little building we got going here. Um, you know what, now I think it'd be cool if there was like a little balcony. Um, so there, there are two things you can do with this system is you can, you can stack these on top of each other, either up as high as you can go. I think they'll go pretty high before the plastic fails. I haven't, I, I kind of want to make one my height, but I haven't done that yet. Um, you can see we do have little nubs on some of these um, and then like a little hole in the bottom. So they do prevent it, uh, the models from shearing and falling off. But, you know, we spend a lot of time on our models. Um, so to make this a little bit more secure, um, we have these little pins. They're just a little extension um, that goes right here on top between the walls. So if you have this in there, the next level really can't shift off. Um, you really only need like every other one. I, I, I drop one in just to be safe. Corner poles. Just put one there. You can see this here. Another support pole here. And another one here. Cool, another one here. Okay, we have another support pole right here. And then, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of having this whole front closed off, um, I'm gonna take one of these, which is half broken. Um, maybe the, the side of this, you know, blew up with some shrapnel. And you can, you can do that and it'll still stay together and you'll be able to get in there, you know, if you have like a ladder, or, um, you know, if you played like, where it is to get up on each side and go in there. Um, this is actually a piece um, from the previous war layer, but um, everything's compatible. So just showing you that, how this actually, you know, it still fits, the roof still works. And yeah, that looks, that looks pretty cool. Um, now the last main piece uh, of this is the uh, railings. So what we can do is we can put up two more of those little pegs, alignment pegs right there. Um, and then we have some of these, which are about a third of the height of a regular support pole that we have here. Let's see those side by side. Um, and that's what the railings will sit in. The railings can also sit in full size support poles. Um, but for now we want to just have like a nice little railing up top to make it feel finished. And then here are the here are the railings. These are come in one, two, and the three length. So they can, this is a two, it's meant for this. And there's also three length ones that will fill this side. Um, and they have little, this, they work off the same system. And you can see little, little uh, protrusions there. So that'll just slot in there. And we'll do that a few more times. There we go, boom. So you can see. Now there's a nice railing up there. The little railing toppers that are pretty cool. So those just use that little hole in the bottom and the peg on top of these, and they just sit right on top right there. Pretty easy. Um, you can put a little blue tack or something too if you want them to feel even more secure. But yeah, there we go. Pretty cool piece of terrain, I'd say. Um, and this all breaks down too, and you can kind of like keep building off of it. Um, I'm actually gonna bring in uh, two new bits for this Kickstarter that we came up with. Um, the first is a, a new bridge, which is pretty cool. That was something from an older Kickstarter that people really, really liked, um, but I wasn't able to figure out how to make it work with the war layer system and, until this Kickstarter, until I spent enough time on it. So I'll show that off. Cool. Now, this is um, the new bridge we made 
uh, for War Lair. Um, it's pretty cool. It's two two length. Um, uh, like I mean, two width. I mean, it's uh, six units in length. So you can see it's a little longer than this because this is two and three, so it's that's five. Um, but yeah, and it lines up exactly with this right here. Um, and let me just let me just show you the bridge how it works as well. Um, it all prints. All of our models print without supports unless it's labeled. Um, and they've all been tested on a lot of regular FDM, FDM printers. Um, so the main bridge, let's see if I can get these two apart because I think I painted them together. Um, so this is the main bridge. It's flexible. So in case, you know, to get it to fit inside of, a, you know, if there's a little give on your printer. Um, and it prints in place, prints upside down, just like this. Uh, and you print two of them. They're the exact same print. Um, they're just kind of a uh, mirror, mirror of themselves. So all you have to do is slide this in. Um, there's a few, there's a few joints here, just like on the wall. Um, they're a little tighter, just because I don't want this bridge to fall apart. Because you know, we put, we spend a lot of time on these models, so you want to make sure everything is good. I think a little bit of that was the glue too, but. There you go, it's back together. Um, and I also, if you can see, you can't see the seam because this little thing covers it up, the little cross here, which I thought was kind of a neat trick. Um, so there's also these holes in here. No, these are not glasses, um, but just using regular, you know, um, 3D printed nut and bolt here, um, we can actually secure these super tight. Um, so we just slide these through here and use these 3D printed parts as fasteners. Now, you still, can glue um, the flat faces together. I don't, I don't think that's a bad idea. I haven't had to do it yet, um, but yeah, print it. And you know, you also can increase the number of shells uh, or the infill until um, it gets gets extra strong. Um, and two three by two roofs or floors fit on here. So I'll show it uh, connecting to here. So it just slots right in. There you go. And now we have a bridge connecting even further um, into our dark 41st millennia. Uh, and to go with that bridge, we also have more floors. So you can see here, we just pop that in. And there we go. We have another floor. And our building is almost too big to even fit, fit in the frame anymore. So let me show you the other end here. All right, so we've got um, two support poles for the end. Um, and then also, this one's not quite done yet, um, but it is the damaged part of the bridge. So, you know, it can seem like it ends somewhere uh, on purpose and it makes more sense on, on the table. So let's put these bad boys in. One, two. Um, I'm also gonna put another wall in there just to beef it up a little bit. And here we've got another damaged uh, looking piece to put on the board. So we can shove this right in here. Perfect. It just slides in. There we go. Boom. And then we'll put this on the end. Those two lines right there. Bridge. And there you have it. Yeah, that's going to be, that'll look really good on a table. Okay, cool. Uh, now I'll show you all Two more things that I think are exciting. As, as you can see up here, that's not a cross, that's something else. That's about, a, I think a 60 degree or 120 degree turn, depending if it's inside or outside. Okay, well now I will show you how these um, angled support poles work. Um, so here we have like the end of the building or like any other piece of terrain. Um, and then what you do is you connect one here just like that, you have, you know, your normal, your normal building. So that doesn't look too special at all. But then the interesting part comes here is instead of it going straight, you can see, what is that? We've got a case of the angles. Um, and then you can actually make a lot more interesting terrain. It's not just on that boxy grid on a slightly less boxy grid, on a 60 degree grid. And then here we put the end one right here. And there we go. And now we have 
other ways we can build off of. We can also, you know, make a diamond or something, um, make corners. Uh, so this, if you want to make it keep going, you could, you know, take the bridge or something else and attach that here. Now you have, you can make arches and all sorts of interesting things or big tubular buildings with like, you know, a, a mega structure or emptiness in the, in the center, similar to like um, dread or something like that. Um, and then we also have these nifty triangulos, triangular floors. And those just drop in the exact same way as the other floors. So you don't really miss, miss a beat. There you go. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you, and the last thing is uh, sort of these hexagonal buildings or more like gothic looking architecture. And that's what these little guys open up. Now this thing is, is pretty big. Um, so it's using six angled support columns and six two length walls. You could also make one length walls and it's a little smaller. Now the, the top right now, it's, it's ridiculously big. It fits on my bamboo, um, but it's basically six of those triangles um, stitched together. So eventually it'll, we should make something that allows you to print this on, on a smaller printer. But right now it's still, it's not painted, it's still in beta. Um, so we're still working on it. And that just drops in right here on top of that, like so. And now you have a really solid base. And this thing's, this thing's big. I mean, this could be a landing pad or the base of a huge tower. Uh, you know, here's a, here's a little space marine to go on top of it. So it's pretty big. Um, and because it's using the same system, uh, these are two lengths uh, width, so you can build off of this and connect this to other things. So this could be like a central hub, something, a landing pad, um, and then you could sort of build off of it. And because all these are the same height, you can bridge all these gaps, make some really interesting vertical architecture. Um, Thanks for watching and please comment with tips and ideas uh, to help improve the Warlayer system. Once again, thanks for watching and thanks for backing. Have a great day.